Welcome to Who Died Today America, your daily source for remembering and honoring the lives of those who have passed and the legacies of the most notable personalities. From actors to athletes, from politicians to musicians, these men and women have left an indelible mark on their respective fields and beyond. Today, we will pay tribute to their achievements, celebrate their lives, and reflect on the impact they had on our world. Sit back and join us as we pay tribute to those who have left us and celebrate their incredible legacies that will live on forever. And if you enjoy our content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay updated on our latest videos. Dave Wills, an American sportscaster. He was most famous for working with teams like the Tampa Bay Rays and the Chicago White Sox. He was the radio voice of the Tampa Bay Rays from 2005 until he passed away. He served as the radio voice of the Tampa Bay Rays from 2005 until his death in 2023. Wills was inducted into the Irish American Baseball Hall of Fame in 2016, and his passion for the game and dedication to his craft made him a beloved figure in the world of sports broadcasting. Dave Wills passed away in his sleep at the age of 58 on March of 2023. Tributes to Dave Wills Jesus Salu was a Dominican professional baseball outfielder who played in the major leagues for 15 years. He played for the San Francisco Giants, the Houston Astros, the Oakland Athletics, and the New York Mets. He was born on March 24, 1942, in the Dominican Republic. He passed away on March 10, 2023, at the age of 80 of an illness. His legacy lives on as a beloved player and member of the baseball community. Tributes to Jesus Salu. Kenneth Eric Money MSc better known as Ken Money was a highly accomplished Canadian scientist and Olympic athlete. He had a special expertise in the human ear and worked at the Defence and Civil Institute of Environmental Medicine in Toronto. Over the course of his career, Money published over 100 scientific articles and authored six different topics in the World Book Encyclopedia. He was highly regarded for his contributions to the field of audiology and his work helped to advance our understanding of hearing loss and other related issues. In addition to his scientific pursuits, Money was also an accomplished athlete, having represented Canada in the high jump event at the 1956 Summer Olympics in Melbourne, Australia. His passion for sports and science inspired many others and earned him numerous accolades throughout his life. Money passed away on March 6, 2023 leaving behind a legacy of excellence and achievement in both the scientific and athletic communities. Tributes to Ken Money Gerald Samuels, a multi-talented American singer, songwriter, and record producer. Samuels passed away on March 10, 2023, at the age of 84. Gerald achieved fame under the pseudonym Napoleon XIV with his hit novelty song They Are Coming To Take Me Away, Ha Ha. In 1966, which became a top five hit and earned him one hit wonder status. Although Gerald's fame was short-lived, he occasionally revisited the Napoleon XIV character to record other songs, typically comedy records with an insanity theme. In addition to his work as Napoleon XIV, Gerald also co-wrote As If I Didn't Know with Larry Kusick, a top 10 hit for Adam Wade in 1961, under the name Scott David, his son's name. Gerald's impressive songwriting abilities didn't end there. He also wrote The Shelter of Your Arms, a top 20 hit for Sammy Davis Jr. in 1964. Throughout his career, Gerald Samuels made a significant contribution to the music industry and will always be remembered for his unique style and creativity. Tributes to Gerald Samuels Peter Sinzer, a well-known politician, 
passed away on March 7, 2023 at a hospital in Fort Defiance, Arizona. He was 85 years old and had been battling cancer. Zim made history by becoming the first president of the Navajo Nation after they restructured their government in 1991. He was a strong advocate for education and encouraged many young Native Americans to pursue their dreams. He will be greatly missed. Tributes to Peter Senza. Costa Titch was a South African rapper, singer, songwriter, and dancer who was born on September 19, 1995, in Bombala. He passed away on March 12, 2023, at the age of 27, and the cause of his death is not yet known. Costa Titch's legacy as a talented and innovative artist will continue to inspire and influence the South African music industry for years to come. Tributes to Costa Titch. Gary Rossington, a Hall of Fame American guitarist, was most well known for his work with bands such as Lynyard Skynyard and the Rossington Collins Band. As the last surviving founding member of Lynyard Skynyard, he survived the 1977 plane crash that killed several of his bandmates. He played a key role in shaping the band's sound and style, and his contributions helped make them one of the most successful and influential rock bands of all time. Rossington was also a member of the Rossington Collins Band and played with other artists throughout his career. Rossington passed away on March 5, 2023, at the age of 71, and his family did not reveal the cause of his death. However, he had experienced heart problems in recent years. Tributes to Gary Rossington Andre Smith, an American basketball player, was best known for playing with teams such as the Nebraska Cornhuskers. He passed away on March 7, 2023, at the age of 64, and his family did not reveal the cause of death. He was a talented athlete who brought energy and skill to the court, and his contributions helped his team achieve great success. Smith's legacy will be remembered by fans and fellow athletes who admired his determination and passion for the game. Tributes to Andre Smith. Otis Taylor, a former star wide receiver for the Kansas City Chiefs who caught the touchdown pass that secured the team's victory over the Minnesota Vikings in Super Bowl IV, passed away on March 9 at the age of 80. The team announced his death but did not disclose where he died or the cause of his death. Taylor had been diagnosed with Parkinson's disease and dementia. He spent his entire career with the Chiefs, who selected him in the fourth round of the 1965 AFL draft. Otis Taylor is remembered as one of the greatest wide receivers in Chiefs history, and his contributions to the team's Super Bowl win will always be celebrated by fans. Tributes to Otis Taylor Brigadier General Theodore Kenamine passed away on March 2, 2023, in Naples, Florida at the age of 93 due to cancer. In 1976, he became the first Japanese-American active duty general in the U.S. Army, and 34 years earlier, he and his family were imprisoned in a Japanese internment camp in Arkansas during World War II. Kenamine is being remembered for his extraordinary patriotism during his 28-year military career. Brigadier General Theodore Kenamine's life and career are a testament to the resilience and patriotism of the Japanese-American community. Despite experiencing discrimination and injustice during World War II, 
Kanamin dedicated his life to serving his country and achieved a historic milestone as the first Japanese-American active duty general in the U.S. Army. His legacy as a trailblazer and role model for future generations of Japanese-American service members will continue to inspire and honor his memory. Tributes to Theodore Kanamin. Jurij Jakubisko, a Slovak film director popular for his work on movies such as Birds, Orphans and Fools, The Millennial Bee, and The Feather Fairy, was awarded more than 80 international film awards. He was named the best Slovak director of the 20th century and dubbed the Fellini of the East by foreign critics. Jarari passed away at the age of 84, and no cause of death was revealed by his family. Tributes to Jurij Jakubisko. Sarah Lane was an American actress known for her work on stage, television, and film. She had a long and successful career, appearing in numerous productions, including The Virginian and I Saw What You Did. Lane's talent, beauty, and grace made her a beloved figure in the entertainment industry, and her passing was mourned by fans around the world. She passed away at her home on March 3, 2023 due to breast cancer. She was 73 years old and survived by her husband John Scott and their two children. Tributes to Sarah Lane Svetlana Braganik a Russian actress best known for her acting skills in movies such as Gunpowder Tragedy, Rock Style, and It Is Easy to Die, and for her captivating screen presence and ability to convey deep emotion with subtlety and nuance. She passed away on February 25, 2023. Brajnik was 78 years old, and her family did not reveal the cause of her death. Her legacy lives on through her iconic performances, which continue to inspire and entertain audiences around the world. Tributes to Svetlana Braganik. Francois Lazaro was a popular French actor and singer who appeared in more than 20 films since 1987. He is best known for his work on movies such as Cemetery Man, The City of Lost Children, and Chubby Lazaro. His acting skills and unique style made him a beloved figure in French cinema. Lazaro passed away on the 25th of February 2023 at the age of 66 due to sepsis. Tributes to Francois Lazaro. Lisette Dussault was a Canadian actress and writer known for her work with the theatre group Les Grand Spectacles Chenya. She was born in Thetford Mines and attended the National Theatre School of Canada. Dussault passed away on March 14, 2023, at the age of 82, though the cause of her death is not yet known. Louisette Dussault was a prominent Quebecois television personality and actress known for her contributions to the development of Quebec culture. Tributes to Louisette Dussault John Jakes was an American writer who gained worldwide recognition for his historical and speculative fiction. His Civil War trilogy, North and South, sold millions of copies. Jakes was born on March 31, 1932, in the United States, and passed away on March 11, 2023, at the age of 90, though the cause of his death is unknown. Tributes to John Jakes Vera 
Selby was an English snooker and English billiards player who won the Women's World Open Championship twice in 1976 and 1981. She was also the women's billiards champion from 1970 to 1978. Selby was born on March 13, 1930, in England, and passed away on March 13, 2023, at the age of 93. The cause of her death is unknown. Vera Selby was a British suffragette who played an instrumental role in securing women's right to vote in the United Kingdom. She was always remembered. Tributes to Vera Selby Gordon Pinsent a Canadian actor with more than 150 film and television credits, was renowned for his work in films such as Away From Her, Boba, and The Red Green Show. He was the voice of Boba the Elephant on television and in movies from 1989 to 2015, making him a household name in Canada for more than seven decades. Pinsent was married to Canadian actress Jomin King and passed away on February 25, 2023 at the age of 92 in a Toronto hospital due to complications from a cerebral hemorrhage. He was beloved for his versatility, range, and ability to inhabit a wide variety of characters with depth and nuance. Tributes to Gordon Pinsent Antonino Cello was an American politician who served as the mayor of Hartford, Connecticut, from 1967 to 1971. She was born on May 19, 1922, in the United States, and passed away on March 12, 2023, at the age of 100 due to natural causes. Tributes to Antonino Cello Leslie Hodcastle was a British arts administrator known for his role as the controller of the British Film Institute's National Film Theatre NFT complex on London's South Bank. He held this position from then its early beginnings through to his retirement in the mid-1990s. Hodcastle was born on December 8, 1926, in England, and passed away on March 14, 2023, at the age of 96 due to an illness. Tributes to Leslie Hodcastle Bobby Caldwell, the talented and soulful singer-songwriter, who captivated audiences with his 1978 hit What You Won't Do For Love, has passed away on March 14 after a long illness at the age of 71. His wife, Mary Caldwell, announced the sad news on Bobby's Twitter page, expressing her gratitude for the support and prayers over the years. Caldwell's signature voice spanned genres of jazz, R&B, and rock and his hit song What You Won't Do For Love rose up the Billboard 100 charts after its release on his debut album of the same name. Born in New York in 1951, Caldwell was raised in Miami and began his career playing rhythm guitar for Little Richard before embarking on his solo career in the late 1970s. Caldwell released more than a dozen albums throughout his career, and his final record, Cool Uncle, was released in 2015. He lived with his wife and daughter on a horse farm in New Jersey and his music touched the hearts of fans around the world. He will be remembered for his incredible voice and his lasting impact on the music industry. Tributes to Bobby Caldwell. Joseph Anthony Pepitone was an American professional baseball player who played for several teams in Major League Baseball MLB from 1962 to 1973, including the New York Yankees, Houston Astros, Chicago Cubs, and Atlanta Braves. He also played for the Yakult Atoms of Nippon Professional Baseball in 1973, 
Pepitone was a three-time MLB All-Star and won three Gold Glove Awards. He passed away on March 13, 2023, at the age of 82. Tributes to Joe Pepitone Christopher Daniel Cooper was an American professional baseball pitcher who played for the San Marino Baseball Club in the Italian Baseball League. He was drafted by the Cleveland Indians in 2001 and played in the Mets farm system until 2006, then spent 2007 in the Atlantic League of Professional Baseball before going to Italy. Cooper, who had Italian heritage, played for the Italy national baseball team in the 2009 and 2013 World Baseball Classic. He passed away from a heart attack on March 11, 2023, at the age of 44. Tributes to Chris Cooper Richard Douglas Fosbury was an American high jumper who won a gold medal at the 1968 Olympics and is considered one of the most influential athletes in the history of track and field. He revolutionized the high jump event with a technique known as the Fosbury flop, which involved sprinting diagonally towards the bar, curving and leaping backwards over the bar, resulting in a much lower center of mass in flight than traditional techniques. Fosbury continued to be involved in athletics after retirement and served on the executive board of the World Olympians Association. He passed away on March 4, 2023, at the age of 76. Tributes to Dick Fosbury John Stone was a British and Canadian improvisational theatre pioneer who invented the impro system, including theatre sports. He was also an educator, playwright, actor, and theatre director. John Stone was known for his slogans, which reflected his philosophy of improvisation, including you can't learn anything without failing and go onto stage to make relationships, at least you won't be alone. He passed away on March 11, 2023, at the age of 90. Tributes to Keith Johnstone We hope that this tribute has helped you appreciate the incredible contributions of those who have recently passed away. Their work will continue to inspire generations to come and their legacies will never be forgotten. Please share this video with your loved ones and encourage them to learn more about the remarkable individuals we have honored today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date on our future content. Thank you for joining us in celebrating the lives and legacies of these amazing individuals, and we look forward to seeing you again soon.